Now. We'll leave them to work because it's getting cleaned. But yo, we are purchasing a Kia EV6 in order to take Kama to the future of electric because environment. Does that make sense? Oh. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Oh, it's leaving. It's leaving. I don't know where it's going. It's leaving. Check it out. We bought an EV6. Yo, you guys, you, you don't want to know how much I'm paying for this thing. You don't want to know how much I'm paying. What up, Bugsy? Good to see you back. Still got a Subaru? Look, it's going, it's going over here. It's going to get cleaned. It's blue. We got a blue EV6. Uh, with five grand, five grand over MSRP is our is our markup. Uh, we called them all. Some of them were doing even more. So uh, we'll take it. We raised money for a reason. No, no, no. We're paying five over MSRP. What else we got? Yeah, I, I, we'll, leave, we'll leave them. What, are these all EV6s? Oh, they have a lot of them here. This silver one looked good. Yeah, yeah, but this is the all-wheel drive. We don't want the all-wheel drive. Useless. That silver does look good, though. What do you guys think? The silver? at all of them we got blue oh this matte silver is really nice looking though nah but oh, it doesn't have the white trim okay I don't like the interior as much all right all right I like that I like that white trim interior you think blue and red are the best looking all right all right thank you thank you let me see. Does this one have the white trim interior? No, nah, it's all black. No, no, no. The interior is so much nicer on ours. Oh, yo. All right. So we're here at Kia, North County in Escondido. Uh, what are these things? Are these Tellurides? Oh, Sorrento. Um, so you know that we're splitting the cars up. We have gold cars, silver cars, bronze cars. Uh, no, it's not all-wheel drive. It's just rear-wheel drive. We are in sunny Southern California. What is this thing? Nero. Do we want one of these? Should we buy a Nero? What are these? Oh, these are stingers. Ah. Oh. GT line, rear wheel drive, hey. Um, but yeah, no, we bought an EV6 uh, for a bunch of reasons. One, um, it's got can FD. Two, Hyundai's are, we have two gold tier cars, really. Our gold tier cars are Toyotas and Hyundai's. Um, Hyundai's have the torque. They have the longitudinal. Uh, this car has four corner radars. Uh, so we were doing tests today where we were like, can you drive the car to Taco Bell with a joystick, right? So can you joystick drive a car to Taco Bell? Um, remember, as long as joystick driving is okay, as long as you're still obeying comma safety model, right? Of course we got a GT line. Of course I bought that HDA too. We have the front radars as well. Um, so yeah, we have HDA too. My hope also is that, uh, what is this one up here? Oh, wind all-wheel drive. 
what am I going to do with an all-wheel drive? I'm in, Cal- I'm in California. Um, and the, the rear-wheel drive is, uh, gets better mileage. Is the all-wheel drive faster, though? Does the all-wheel drive have more horsepower? Toyotas are better quality than Hyundai. I have some real doubts about that. How long are we keeping it for? I don't plan to get rid of it. I'm gonna think I'm gonna trade my Sonata. I think I'm gonna be driving around in the EV6. Wow, that thing, that, that DeLorean silver though is very nice. Wait, the all-wheel drive is faster? How much faster? Should I go inside right now and say we'll get the all-wheel drive instead? 225 horsepower. No, the other one's 225 horsepower too. This one's all-wheel drive. Some of us are in financing right now. Uh, wait, this is all-wheel drive. What's this one? There aren't many rear-wheel rear wheel drive comma drift. Yeah, right? I don't know. I like rear-wheel drive cars. Wait, which, which one of these is... George, you can't put chains on the tires? Wait. No, 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 no. This definitely doesn't have a 320 horsepower motor. Uh, this is all wheel drive. It is 225. And the last EV6 in the row, they're all all wheel drive and they all have the same motor. All right, if it's faster, it's only a tiny bit faster. I'm not sold. Just because I can get more, more go power, I guess. Not get more horsepower. 225, you know. It's, but yo, it's responsive. It's got that low end torque. Um, yeah. Comments on common body. Well, did you, oh, it's coming along nice. It's coming along nice. Um, no silicon shortage for all wheel drives, right? What chargers does it use? I don't even know. I've never owned an electric car before, but um, you know, we care about the environment and we're going to the future. Three Slim's not happening. The, 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 there is gonna be a rev of the comma three, but the rev is mostly just so we can save money. Um, and we can decide whether to pass that savings on to you, but the answer will probably be to pass the profits on to us. Uh, what cars can make it a Taco Bell on a joystick? That's a great question. No, nothing's 320 horsepower. There's no cars here that are 320 horsepower. Um, this here is a GT line all wheel drive and it's 225 horsepower. Oh wait, that's standard rear wheel drive features. Oh my God, it is 320 horsepower. Oh, I'm kind of sold. Oh, I'm kind of sold. <laughs> look at this. Look, they dupe you. They have the standard. Look at this. Here's the standard GT line. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, YouTubers. And here's the all wheel drive with 320 horsepower. Oh, and 426 feet pound of torque. Oh my God. Wait, should we actually switch? Am I buying the wrong car right now? Should we switch to the all wheel drive? Oh, oh. All right, well, we're going to go. We're going to go. Alex is in financing right now. Should we switch? Do we want to switch? Keep the blue, though. Keep the blue. Switch, it's less than 4K more. It's not less than 4K more. It's like, oh, they want all-wheel drive. Yo, yo, 320 horsepower. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. No, 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 no. No, we got to be responsible with money, boys. We got to be responsible with money. We're buying the rear-wheel drive automobile. We're buying the rear-wheel drive automobile, but when we buy the second one of these, we'll buy all-wheel drive. Wait, Alex, you want to switch? You're the one sitting there and financing. I don't know. I don't like the, I don't like the, uh, 
It is only three comma threes. Oh. Oh, switch. Switch to this silver. Oh. Does the business need 320 horsepower? That's right. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. If three of you buy comma threes right now, we can afford it. <laughs> no, it's my, yeah, right. I lose range. It's just, I lose range. I lose range. I lose range. Same battery. No, same battery, less range because something's got to drive all the, all the extra horsepowers. Silver all wheel drive. Wait, Alex, do you want to switch? Can we actually switch? I don't like the seat as much either. The other seat has this nice white trim on it and this one doesn't. But the silver does look nice. What's the benefit? Yeah, what's the benefit? No, that's a good point. The business does not need 320 horsepower. <laughs> Yo, but they really, if that sticker was a little bit more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the blue. Seems nicer. All right, all right. We're keeping the blue. We're keeping the blue. We're going with the rear wheel drive EV6. Uh, yeah, yeah. The range. The range is less good. The range is less good with the all wheel drive. Also, the all wheel drives are more common. You got one second. Alex, rear wheel drive, final answer. Um, more tire, you have to replace all the tires. Spend the difference in Taco Bell. No, but yo, 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 yo. We are getting, uh, we're getting an EV6. We are bringing comma into the future. And I'll tell you, the future is actually probably about 80% gas cars, 20% electric cars until we upgrade our grid. Um, Alex is in financing right now, purchasing this car. Um, what much horsepower does this have? I didn't even tell you. Sticking with blue. We're sticking with blue. No, I'm looking at the silver more. I like the blue. It's also, that car has really nice, it has this white accent on the seat. It's really nice. Um, no, the, the Kia EV is... Uh, look, I don't care about the environment. Y'all know me. Uh, but I do care about nice stuff. And this car is nice. Electric is nice. And that's really how you have to do it. Uh, you like the silver one better, Alex? Ugh. No, I don't know. I'm looking at it up close. I, I think the blue is the right choice. <laughs> uh, no, but we don't buy EVs because they save the environment. We buy EVs because they have low-end torque and, more importantly, regenerative braking. What made me pick the EV6 over the Ionic 5? I like the styling on the... Uh, I like the styling on the... Uh, on the... Uh... Alex, we're not going with the all-wheel drive. <laughs> uh, I like the styling on the EV6 more. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's the same platform. It's pretty much the same car. Uh, it's interior, it's black. It's black with this white accent. That's pretty good. Uh, let me go, you wanna go look at our car? Oh, it's, a, it's out of detailing. Where'd it go? I think it might be around front. Uh, does Comma 3 matter, Kia or Hyundai? They're basically the same car. The, the Kia, to buy access to the Kia thing, is, is, I don't know, I didn't buy the Kia one, but the Hyundai one is $40 and the Genesis one is $100. I was looking at the tech infos. When am I going to show you the car? Well, where is it? Where is my car? As soon as we buy it. Uh, if we wait around to buy it, I don't know. Um, we can look at these other cars. Does it have the lockout? Honestly, we don't know. We don't know. I am here to gamble. Um, if it has the lockout, uh, Alex says we don't need me anymore. I could go home. No, I want to drive the EV6 home. Uh, Sorrento. Love the silver. Uh, is this going to be my daily driver? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It'll be around the office. 
No, I like the blue. I, 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 look, you got. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm tempted by the horsepower. You know, I like the horsepower, but uh, you know, we'll st we'll stick with the blue. Uh, you, should you get a Tesla with FSD or Comet 3 on a new used car? Look, if you're asking me that question, bro, buy the Tesla. They'll have someone who's going to give you support. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're looking into a firmware mod for the Sonata. Uh, you know, I think the lockout is an anti-safety feature. I think the lockout actually makes things less safe. Like, what kind of stupid system drops torque at 90 degrees? Uh, so stupid. That's not a safety feature, right? Like the less torque is generally safer than more torque. You can make the argument that less torque can be less safe in certain scenarios, but overall, is this because the Corolla can't get to Taco Bell? Yes, we were gonna buy a Lexus ES if the Corolla could get to Taco Bell, but I think our future is Hyundai. Um, no, nah, no Chevy Bolts. Hey, Toyotas, yeah, Toyotas are gonna add security, ugh, ugh. Uh, the future is Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis. Of course I have a Comet 3 in my Hyundai Sonata. Just bought a Comet, now go get the 320. <laughs> no, 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 we're already, it's already done, it's already done. Look how rare blue is. You see any other blue ones? No, it's because blue is great. It's actually called Yacht Blue. Um, I've read this form thread. The, the, the issue is steering wheel torque. Uh, no, well, the issue with the Sonata is once you get the steering wheel to 90 degrees, it stops supplying steering torque. Um, so, yeah, no, expect to see a lot more love uh, for Kia and Hyundai. Uh, Kia, Hyundai, Genesis, this stuff's the future uh, of Kama. Toyota is still the future, too. Honda is not the future. If you bought a Honda, you're not the future. Um... <sighs> We, we were doing that we we're doing this new star system and the problem is the hondas uh don't have torque they don't have steering torque we can never ship mods so you know uh oh those white seats are nice Ooh, look at this car oh look at them white seats oh, it's pretty nice um Ooh, 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 the gv oh are they make an electric gv70 i was looking at the g80 and I just couldn't with the, uh, I, I didn't like the steering wheel. I thought it looked so ugly. Like the, they, and that was like the top comment on YouTube. Like I was thinking it before YouTube, yeah. So I wasn't like influenced. Well, who's honking? What's going on? Yacht Blue. That's right. That's right, Yacht Blue. Uh... The worst part of any Genesis is the steering wheel. It's just, it's such a terrible steering wheel. Like I couldn't, I couldn't buy that car. I couldn't be happy. Oh, they're honking to <laughs> honk in solidarity. <laughs> Someone with an all wheel drive is honking. <laughs> uh, wait, what's the via? Oh, oh yeah. I heard there's some stupid, like the Genesis tries to sound like a sports car and plays sports car noises in your stereo. That's just disgusting. It's just, that's just, I'm just disgusted by that. Integrated Comet 3, won't ever happen. I do like the, uh, what is wrong with Honda? Hondas don't have steering torque. Hondas don't have steering torque. How much worse is the big model delay versus master? I just shipped an optimizer. So if you're on the Comet 2, you're out of luck. But uh, if you're on the Comma 3, it runs in 20 milliseconds, which is only six milliseconds more than the old master. Um, oh yeah, wait, can I disable the fake noise on my, on my EV6? Um, should we go back to my Sonata? See if it's still there. Uh, what steering torque? It's how much you can turn the wheel. Um, EV6, does it have the 90 degree thing? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm in the way of this parking spot. I'm gonna go chill in the Sonata. Um, what killed the hopes for a potential Corolla, Ta Corolla Taco Bell run? Low end torque. It doesn't have torque on the low end. Um, yo, you guys want to go look at other cars? We can just walk across the street. You want to go look at Cadillacs? 
What's the EV6? The EV6 is Kia's hottest new car. I had to pay 5K over sticker to buy one. Uh, you can disable the fake noise, sweet. We good, we good. How, how, we good like we're getting the car soon? Like, like I can stay on YouTube while we get the car? Or we're good like we're going to the next stage of financing? Uh, low end torque, uh, low speed torque, sorry. Sorry, uh, yeah, 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 torque at low speeds. Well, I ship something to correct the 90 degree lockout. Well, my real hope is that it just doesn't have it. Like how awesome would it be if it just didn't have it? Mm. Ah, oh. no, I don't stream in church anymore. Um, but yeah, so let's check out the Sonata here. Mm. This is the Kama Sonata. Here is our flagship product, the Kama 3. Uh, you guys can check it out. You guys can buy one. Uh, if you don't already have one, I did test drive the other dealership. I feel like I need to test drive the other one. Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't realize open pilot laundry. Oh, wait, if I turn this off, does that work? Oh, that's awesome. I think, I think, I don't know if that's actually shipped. Maybe we'll ship that to the Hyundai. Oh, uh, I think it's probably just because I have a special, uh, mod. The screen is stunning on these things. You don't want to know how much I paid for it. They're over $100. Um, let's see if there's updates. Ooh, did I get any updates? Oh, the SIM issue. Yeah, uh, basically, um, the pink cell phone carrier canceled all the unlimited plans. So we're going to be switching to a blue cell phone carrier. Um, yeah, the blue cell phone carrier. It's registered to you. No, 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 no. You're taking the Hyundai Sonata home. I'm taking the EV6 home. <laughs> uh, you can go on road here. Oh yeah, check it out. We name the branch. How difficult will it be to remove the, uh, the, the, the lockout. I think we can do it. Yeah, I know. They're, they're the uncarrier. I, we're very upset. So now we're going to have to pay per gigabyte with the blue people. Uh, so yeah, the, the pink people are out. Um, yeah. Alex is going to steal my EV6. I'm gonna be driving home in this, in this, in this Sonata. It's like an EV6, it's just not EV. Uh, Greg removed it on the Palisade, not on the, uh, on the Sonata. They're different. The Sonata has more security, uh, but it's not a problem. We can get around it. All right, guys, general comma questions. Is Hyundai more torque than Toyota? It depends. Um... I just got the all-wheel drive silver one. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll, we'll open the floor up to general comma questions, and then we'll stop the stream uh, unless we're going to get the car soon. Alex, are we going to get the car soon? Or is there like 17 more paperworks? Because I'm sure YouTube would love to see the car up close, where, and we can turn off the VASS. Um, so, yeah, if you have a comma 2, we're canceling comma 2 prime. Uh, you're gonna have to, yeah, either get your own SIM card and buy Prime Light or not a Prime. Uh, no, there's no support for German cars because of FlexRay. Um, is Kama on a yearly hardware release like the cell phone industry? Not quite yearly. Um, think about, the, I don't know what yes means. Think about it more like uh, 18 months to two years. But we don't do major refreshes, right? So you can look like... Like the Eon Gold and the Comma 2 were quite similar. Um, we're going to be on the Comma 3 platform. So the Eon, the Eon Gold, or the Neo, the Eon, the Eon Gold, and the Comma 2 were all basically the same platform. So the next the next three hardware devices from Comma, well, the next two are going to be on the same platform as the Comma 3. Um, 
So yeah, Comet 3s are, are pretty future-proof. We were even talking about going forward if we ever wanted to change the camera configuration again, and the answer might be no. Like we have 360, 360 plus the radars that are in the EV6 should be enough. Uh, you're happy with the 90 degree lockout. No, eight Newton meters is dangerous. Yeah, I know. The key is nice, right? You got the key? Wait, let's go. Let's go. We got to show the YouTubers the car. Um, more engineers in Rotterdam. Yeah, we're hiring in Rotterdam if you want to go work there. Uh, absolutely. Oh, she's grabbing the car from the back. Oh, nice. Nice. I can't believe we're already through all the stuff. Um, Palisade has the lockout. No, 8 Newton meters is, uh, you can't do that all the time. There's some serious safety issues there. Uh, it's also, it's interesting how they measure torque. Like, is it torque before the amplification or torque after? But the 90 degree lockout is an anti-safety feature, and we could totally remove it. Uh, you wish I started Twitch again. That's good for you. Um, how is the current failure reliability rate? 30%? No. No, no, no. The, the common three failure rate is, 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 is uh, we posted it. It's like 7% or something, and falling. Um, the early ones had some issues, but all the Comet 3s are under warranty. Uh, the other difference between the 3 and the 2 is we have, uh, we have the parts store for the Comet 3. So if your Comet 3 does break out of warranty, it's not like you have to buy a new one. Like, you can fix it with the parts. Um, but the reliability seems to be about five times better than the Comet 2s. Uh, we're putting a lot more effort, too, into tracking down all the failures on the Comma 3s. Oh, just pre-order Comma Body. I don't think we have many more of those pre-orders left. Um, current price for Comma 3 plus amount, it's $21.99 for the base model and then $200. It's, you can buy three Comma 3s and still not be able to afford the difference between the rear-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive, all -wheel drive. Mazda Long. I'm excited about Mazda Long. I'm actually very excited about the CX-5. I think the CX-5 has the potential to be a gold car. It's on all of them. It's one of the top 25 cars sold in America. Is the remove unreleasable? It's more releasable than the Honda Mods. It's more releasable than the Honda Mods. I'll say that. Uh, the Comma 2 updates for the Comma 2 stop in June. Uh, ETA on Anta and Long. The new models look a lot better. Uh, the new models look. The new models are nice. Um, we we found some 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 bugs. Uh, promotions. Uh, I mean, we do raises about every year. I don't know. Like titles are meaningless. You can have whatever title you want. We used to give people titles just because like titles are cheap. But like, you know, like there's a few like major promotions. I mean, like Harold was promoted to CTO. Uh, are we still profitable? Hell yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, we are We are very profitable. In fact, we raised $10 million and our bank account is still above $10 million. So we're not spending enough money. And I've been saying this, like, we've got to spend more money. So here we are. But you see, I can't even bring myself to buy the all-wheel drive. Um, end to end teaser videos. We're not doing any more of those. I know they were nice, but, uh, you know, what do they do? You'll get it when you get it. That's good. Um, we need... Uh, yo, if you can do like, like hardcore infrastructure, like you're, you're good at like, like we have to like refactor. Basically we need our pipeline to go faster. If, if you, okay. I'll explain one of the problems why models are taking a long time. We have a firm. Um, models are taking a long time because we have a data center that's kind of small and everything's taking too long to run now. We have big plans to build a new data center, but we don't have enough power to run the data center. Uh, so yeah, things are a little bit slow, but if you are looking, uh, to come work here and you're great at infra- Is that my- is that my car? Did I just see my car go by? There's my car! There's my car! Where's it going? Are we ready? Oh, can I show him the key? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you want to you want a Sonata key? <laughs> Check it out, boys. Check it out. Oh, sorry. Did it lock? Uh, no. Rotterdam is only a software development house. Rotterdam does not ship any hardware. Great. Thank you.
Do you want to come? Do you want to come say hi to the Twitches? Or they're checking out our new. All right, all right, all right. Yo, 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 yo. Check it out. Yes, we're still looking for a new office. Uh, we are definitely still looking for a new office. Yo, I mean, really, what I liked, it, why we couldn't switch to the silver, is I love these white accents on the seat, and none of the silver had it. Wait, they have the Tesla door handles. Yeah, they test the door handles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's locked. Look at this thing. Is this a spaceship or, or what? So sick inside. Right? Well, can I save? Thank you. Well, we're going to have to leave the YouTubers while I drive, but we can drive around the parking lot with YouTubers. Here? Yeah, yo. You know, while drive in the parking lot for a yeah, yeah, yo. Yo. Like, look at this thing, guys. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wait, they're capacitive? Okay, look. Look at this empty space here. You that? can't really see it on the. How sick is that? Yo, you know what would make it better though? If I had 320 horsepower. If I knew the all wheel drive had 50% more horsepower, I would have considered it more and then not gone with it, but I would have considered it more. You can see it all now. Look, look, look. Someone finally built a responsive nav system. It's so Down quiet. It's the only one who can build software. Oh, and apparently the noise that it does make is fake and you can turn it off in settings. <laughs> they have a fake noise mode. Like, look at this wheel. You know, you know why I couldn't buy it? I looked at a Genesis G80. I couldn't buy it. The, the wheel looked disgusting. Really? Yeah. What did, what did it look like? It looked like an old man wheel. <laughs> look at this. Like, I love this. Look at this accent. Like, the, this is even more pronounced than the one on the Sonata. Oh, interesting. The shape. Yeah, the shape. Huh. Wait, what? What? Is this car fully charged? No, she said it only has 100 miles on it. What? When we walked in, she said she prioritized getting it cleaned so we could get out of here on time. We only paid five grand over sticker though, right? Correct. Right, great. Wait, wait till you see these things go for 20 over sticker. <laughs> and we think these are going to be like the uh, Rav4 Primes. It's not even yelling at me for having no seatbelt on. Yeah, I know because it's chill. I love this car. I love this car too. Wait, but where are we going to go charge it? We'll take it to LA. I hear they have chargers there. Alex, we can't make it to LA. It's going to go to your house. Yeah, I don't have chargers at my house. You do. Yeah, but I can't park in those spots. They're for other people. They have numbers on them. Let's go to the lot, the DGS lot. All right, we'll go to the DGS You can lot. pay, I think. You have to sign up with the company. Great. You want to take this car? I don't want it anymore. No, I want to drive it home. I want to just drive Also, we could plug it into the office briefly. We could plug it into the office, yeah. Yo, it's beautiful, guys. This is the future of comma. I'm going to stick a comma three right there. You're gonna sit back, you're gonna chill. Does it have creep? Can I turn it off? Can I turn creep off? Yeah, we got a Kia. I hope I can turn. Can I turn creep off? Do you guys know? Creep just upsets me on electric cars. You know creep? No, I know that TLC song. No, no, when you take your foot off the gas, it goes. Oh. Um, and like, there's no actual, re when you take your foot off the brake, it goes, it rolls forward. There's no actual reason for this. It is charge car or train models. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, active sound design. Provides a driving sound for EVs off. Why would anybody want this? Are you showing me using the thing? Yeah. All right. Um, smart regeneration system. Yeah. Wait, can I turn creep off? I feel like you can't turn creep off on this car. We have to put it in secret mode. How do I put the Konami code in? Why would I want that? Mm. Wait, you want me to ask your building if we can get one of those spots? I don't know, is this going to be the car I drive now, or am I going to stay with the Sonata? Is that a, is that a, that's a stupid question. Do you really think I'm driving this? Of course I do. Maybe. it's yeah, Electric cars are kind of inconvenient. But now, the question is, does it have a 90-degree steering lockout? HDA2 is crazy, too. All right. A ton of EVs don't let you, but you have a brake hold. Oh, I have a brake hold. Hey, Alex, we do read the chat. Wait, 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 wait. I will be so offended if- Turn on auto hold to turn off creep. Oh, turn on auto hold to turn off creep, okay. Auto hold. Okay, good. Let's see, put it back. Okay, good. 
If it is actually applying both the brakes and the gas right now, I'm so offended. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. could be doing that. What car? This oh, is the oh, Kia oh, EV6 GTL version. Yeah. Rear wheel drive. Yacht blue. Yacht blue. You want to work around the car? Drive. Yeah, show them the car. Look at all these beautiful Wait, that details. Was a... <laughs> I think it actually does use the brakes in the hold. You can see all the details. What is this? Oh, it's um. The wireless charger. It's so nice. Yeah, 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 just put your phone down here. I think it works. It doesn't work. Mine has a case on it. No, mine works with the case. Gym tan laundry. That's right. Yeah, yeah, GTL. Oh my God, she's a real beauty. Okay, I do have great nails for touching cars. Oh, I need my wire. Look at all the little details. I need my wire for this. Not a oh, go get it. <laughs> Sorry, we're just streaming for the company. Oh, did you did you reveal our temporary license plate number? It's gonna it's gonna be a huge problem, isn't it? They're gonna come find them. They already do. They would be on this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, George in the car. Our wonderful sales lady, Christina. Oh, on the thing, a smart part. Yo, how do I do this? Smart part. So I'm pretty sure you gotta lock it twice. Okay. Oh, you have the other key. Yeah, I have the other key. Okay. I'm sure it does, but George probably needs to charge his phone, too. Okay, Yeah, he's really going uh, feral. I assure you, George showered Yo. <laughs> recently. I think those under lights are illegal in California. Don't quote me on that. Look at the lights in the front. There's there's settings inside there that you can um, basically hit while you're really chic. Okay, so the black one has like a texture trim here, which I really liked, but it was very distinct. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like the blue. We were really um unsure about it earlier today. Thanks. In case you guys ever get locked out of that car, there is a key back here. You're getting the whole experience now, guys. Didn't know we were streaming. I would have brought the handhold thing. Tires. George is 5'10. <laughs> this is the Kia EV6 GTL. You guys want to see what it's like to be in the back? Me too. Look at the white trim. Sonata has most of these features on there as well. Yep. Good blind spot, collision, avoidance, assist. Anything that says assist is actually going to act for you. Um, so the Ford collision avoidance assist, if it notices anything in front of you, um, in front of your sensors, it's going to go ahead and almost kind feel like you have the seats. Okay. Not until you hit the gas again a little bit more. It's got that new car go. smell. Blind spot, collision, avoidance assist. It detects the car next to you and you're trying to turn into that right lane. George has no idea what any of this stuff is. Over. Um, but you can go ahead and turn that off inside the settings if it's you don't want any of those features on, okay? Wait, the lights in the back have a button. <laughs> it's going to do the same thing as a board collision, just in the back. 
This is the EV6 GTL. Lane keeping assist and lane following assist. You're going to find that on your steering wheel. It's a little car on the road. And the no, we got a sunroof. I can't see it. Parking Sorry, guys. There is the sunroof. Let's see how we open it, though. You got the dual panoramic with displays and the navigation on your cluster right here. I need to do it when the car is on. You do have Kia Connect, which I do want you to connect that. That's going to go ahead and... Um, Basically, just make an emergency 911 call for you in case your airbags ever deploy. The CanFD board is closed. Definitely want to download that app. Oh, really look how nice the door details are. On your phone, okay? Got geometric. That air right there. With the stop and go. I love it. This one is really cool on this car because not only does it stop and go for you, um, if you turn on your blinker to go into the right lane, you literally don't have to switch. It'll switch for you. On the GT one. Yeah, I thought that was super cool. Um, dual zone automatic climate control, the smart power tailgate, wireless phone charger, vegan leather seating, heated ventilated front seats, power adjusted driver's seat, no idea. Free occupant alert. You can turn that off too if you don't ever carry passengers, but a lot of boxes, so it's not constantly telling you. Um, power folding heated outside mirrors with the turn signals. You got the towing package pre wiring in here, so Can if you did want to add that in there, all you would need is the accessory, okay? You got 10 year, 100,000 on the powertrain, just like I think Hyundai has that. And then you also have it on the battery. Yep. And then you have five year, 60,000 on roadside assistance. Um, pop, pop out outside door handles, believe it or not, but on the wind, you have to pop them out yourself. <laughs> you got the power oh, yeah. You got the wide sunroof in here, the auto dimming rear Sorry. mirror with the home link. Um, it's very easy to set that up. You literally have a QR reader that can show you how to set that up, okay? Yep. Remote smart parking assist showed you how to use that blind spot view monitors basically the eagle eye cam she's never gonna parking pass. collision avoidance assist in reverse smart cruise control with the machine learning and then the ford collision avoidance Guys, assist the with the fusion plus hmm? highway driving assist too and then you got the um floor mass and the wheel lock in there as well <laughs> is there any questions you have regarding the car the only thing is this looks like there was a sticker on the back you guys it has <laughs> machine learning so on this car you have so it's part of our accessories george is always this nice Wait, does it? The no, it doesn't have a front. Here's the trunk. It's pretty nice. George, the people want to see the sunroof. The people want to see the sunroof. The people want to see the sunroof. The team also wants to know what machine learning is. Machine learning, um, cruise control. It's the most advanced cruise control that you have on any car right now. Um, it's basically going to switch lanes for you versus just um, reducing the speed and speeding up. Ooh. Wow. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. You yeah, like yeah. a wide angle view on right here. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Cool. Uh, you can use the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in here, but because you do have the navigation in here, um, you will have to plug it into the USB port down there in order to use it in the car, okay? Got it. Do you have auto hold in your, any of your cars? I've just used auto yeah. hold. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I was excited that it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I hate when the electric cars creep. Yeah. There's no reason for them to do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the auto hold turns it off. You got the wireless phone charger right underneath your hand right there. Great. Um, both doors do need to be closed. <laughs> for you, okay? The phone charger? <laughs> All doors need to be closed. Really? You can't charge your why? phone when the door's open? I, I don't know why, but yeah, Interesting. All doors have to be closed. Cool. Any I, other questions you guys have? They said they're scared to let a machine drive the car. <laughs> Sit in the back seat and let him hit the cruise control. <laughs> oh no, you guys are driving in different cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really neat when you use it. It's really neat. It makes the yeah. cruise control worth it. Honestly. No, I mean when we when I test drove this car at the other dealership, that was the only thing I checked out. Yeah, the cruise yeah. control. The cruise control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. They're, 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 you know they're doing it really well. I think that uh, Hyundai and Kia have a have a bright future. Yeah. Uh, you know, really, like you hear all this stuff, EVs, GM and Ford. I don't know anyone with a GM and Ford EV. Like, I don't want a Bolt. Yeah. So, so I got a Bolt, $40,000 car, and it had uh, manual seats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I used to work for Sharpie when those first came out, like in 2016. <laughs> I sat in the car yeah. for, for 30 seconds, and I'm like, there's no way I'd ever buy this car. <laughs> I'm not paying $40,000 for a car and going yeah, that, like this. That, that car was set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. All right, your uh, phone battery's dying. You may well, actually need to plug oh, it in. I'll, I'll use the convenient uh, wireless charger. You, you want, okay. Cool. Great. Let me say bye to the people. <laughs> Are we done? We're done. Cool. Great. Thank you, you very much. Keys? Both keys? <laughs> I have both keys, yes. Great. Do you guys Give have me the key? Alex, do you have my number? No, I do. Thank you so uh, much. Of course. Thank you guys for We're so excited. We really appreciate yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're making a move so quickly. Okay. Thank you guys. Good rest of your night. You too. Thank you. All right. You're going to take this beauty back to the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you back at the office. Show the sunroof. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. Thank you all. KNFD port coming soon. I mean, yeah, this is going to be our first KNFD car. Level five. Let's go. Level five. Let's go. Bye. It's good. Hang on, let me just get the map up here so I don't uh, don't miss an entrance. Uh, we got seven more miles to go. I thought I'd come back on and show you, give you my critique of HDA too. Um, so first off, the first thing you notice is look at this. Uh, I mean, you don't see it right now, but when the cars get next to me, you can see them appear on the radar. Uh, you can see that the radar is tracking two lead cars, uh, which is all pretty cool. Their lateral policy is good, but it ping pongs. And there's that. Um, and it gives me alerts. You can see it can do automatic lane changes. Though I'm not sure, we're gonna see if it'll ever actually make the lane change without, I think I have to nudge or keep my hands on the wheel. Let's see if it'll do it. No, it won't. It won't, it canceled it. Okay, so they require a nudge as well. Um, yeah, a tiny bit of ping pong, but overall, this system is very usable. Like, this system well outperforms Open Pilot uh, in some of the lower end Open Pilot cars on the highway. Uh, so, congratulations, Kia. I mean, it's good. Is it running Open Pilot? <laughs> no, no, they, uh, the Sonata wasn't really good. Like, the Sonata one wasn't really usable. Uh, on anything except for straights, but they, they finally did a good job with this one. Uh, who knows? And like, you know, the thing is, you're never going to know what version you're running. Uh, the car is, the car itself is, 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 it's not as noise deadening as the Sonata. I actually don't like this car as much as the Sonata. Um, but the car itself is dead silent. I can hear all the road outside. The navigation experience was decent to use. Yo, if you're in the market for a car and you like this, you know, you're looking for the fan, right here. Let's, so let's do one of their lane changes. So this is their lane change. It's it's good. It's 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 blinker and nudge, the same as open pilot. You can see that the radar is tracking multiple leads in different lanes. It's just, it's just displaying it, which is kind of cool. Uh, they claimed that the ACC is using, uh, is using quote unquote AI. So I, I wonder what that actually means. Uh, let's get back over here. Give it a nudge. Pretty good. The road is more noticeable because there's no engine noise. So the, yeah, it might not actually be deadened. Uh, but I, I don't know. I prefer the Sonata as a car, but uh, the this is the first, other than Super Cruise, this is the first uh, autopilot system I'm impressed with. I mean, this and autopilot. Aside from Super Cruise and autopilot, this is this is top tier. Um, I like that it still has instant torque even at highway speeds. See, it's too close to that truck. 
the, the lateral policy in subtle ways is not as good as open pilots. But overall, pretty impressive. You can see, like, look, there's a little bit of ping pong. Look, you can see it on the wheel. And I'll turn the light on. Now it's doing a turn. It doesn't seem to ping pong in the turns. This is, this is, this is, this turn is great. Uh, first impressions, phenomenal car. Uh, you know, if you guys are hanging out for the stream, let's take it on the 163. And we'll try it on an actually difficult road. Let's do an automatic lane change here. It feels, the system feels very intuitive. Like, I, I almost, I forget that this is, okay, make the second. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that UI was confusing. Oh, I don't know what it's doing now. Okay, you have to wait for the, you have to wait for the steering wheel to turn green. Uh, once the steering wheel is green up there, it means it's like locked on. Uh, it, it's really easy to forget that this car isn't open pilot. But now let's see if it can do anything difficult. All right, all right, I'll keep my hands on the wheel. They have some attentioning when I go like this. It says my attention level is high. I think it's just based on timers. Uh, I don't think it has any driver monitoring of any sorts. It lets you keep your hands off the wheel for a surprisingly long amount of time. Let's see, so right, I'll, I'll torque the wheel now. And now I'll let it go. I also like that it says, it says on the, the HUD, uh, HDA nav. So I wonder if it's at all integrated with the nav. Like, will it take an exit? Uh, so you guys see the timer for how long I've had my hands off the wheel. Uh, Kia, I'm trusting uh, your life. I'm trusting my life with your torque limits here. Don't, don't make shitty torque limits. Uh, I don't think they did. Yeah, very, very usable. All right, so this is the first like real turn, let's say. Okay, so it gave me an alert to put my hand on the wheel, but overall, great. Wow, the thing is, you know, like this isn't conveyed to consumers at all. Like, 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 like Ford does all this stuff about Blue's Cruise, and I heard it's actually terrible. And then no one talks about this system, which is good. Tiny amount of ping pong on straightaways, but that's it. I mean, this makes me think that we really like red lights and stop signs. This comes to open pilot is going to be the, the feature that crushes it. I mean, this is okay. This is also, you know, it's two clear lane highway driving. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't hype it up too much. Uh, but, you know, considering most of the manufacturers can't even get two, two highway lines matching, two highway lines good. Uh, I'm very impressed by this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go somewhere tricky uh, in a bit. This this road turns into a, a tricky one. Does it feel like it's driving laneful or laneless? It feels completely laneful. It, it feels like it's not doing anything with the radar information. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I certainly prefer the laneless policy on open pilot to the laneful policy because it like moves a little for cars. Uh, so no, it feel it feels laneful. I mean, it's definitely using the lanes. We know it's using the lanes. Uh, but, you know, it's not just about lane full. Like, the entry and exit for the turns is competent. And this is something that took us a while to get good in open pilot. Like, we, it would, it's not undercutting or, or overshooting turns, which 
almost all the stock systems do. What's the suite of sensors? So we have four corner radars, we have a forward facing radar, and we have a camera module, which I think is just one camera. Uh, it has ultrasonics, but those are connected to the parking ECU. Um, the two rear radars are kept on kind of a legacy system. So I actually have a theory that, so you'll see like when the car comes up next to me, I actually think that's being captured on the front radar and the back radars are still just doing blind spot monitoring. But I hope I'm wrong about that. Um, you see you see how that, that, that red shows up? Yeah, no, okay, yeah, you see the car? It's pretty good, right? And it looks like the autopilot display. Uh, let's see if it'll follow my nav. I don't think I have any nav instructions coming up soon. Uh, but yeah, I, I it's, it is... On this, on this clearly marked highway, uh, it is very easy to think that Open Pilot is driving right now. So yeah, props to uh, props to Kia for, for for building something decent. Or prop, Hyundai. Um, who has the best display UI? Tesla's is nice. I don't know. I like cars that actually shows the camera though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have the we have the blind spot infotainment. It'll do that if that's what you mean. Uh, how does the drive monitoring work? There's no drive monitoring in this car. Uh, which, <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> uh, it will eventually, on sharp turns, it's, it's related to the curvature of the road. It comes up with things saying, uh, you gotta take over. Or you gotta put your hands on the wheel. And then I think it's torque based. I don't think there's sensors. I tried just putting my hand and it didn't do anything. Bacon in support of Chinese cars? I don't even know what that means. Stream! Uh, Alright. Well, I really want to... You want to stick with me, guys, till we get to the other side of the I-8. And we're going to take this thing on the 163 and see what it can really do. Um, overall, this is just like bare, bare levels of competency. Uh, you know, it's just the, the fact that the fact that no manufacturer, aside from Autopilot, Super Cruise, and now this one, have gotten like moderate highway turns to work, it's just a wild thing. But some other things. Um, Super Cruise couldn't do the 163 because I don't think their roll compensation was good. Uh, I don't think this car has OTA updates. So I might be wrong. Like, I don't really know. It certainly doesn't advertise it anywhere. Um, what's in the next one after this update? You can read it. Uh, we got a blog post coming out tomorrow. I think the release goes live tomorrow. All right, here. Sorry, right, we got some more serious turns now. It's telling me to keep my hands on the steering wheel. Although I'm curious what it does if I don't. We can try letting the driver monitoring time out. Um, their longitudinal policy, the longitudinal policy in this car is better than our longitudinal policy. Uh, Autopilots is better as well. But this is going to change with N10 longitudinal. Um, I'm still confident Open Pilot has the best lateral policy in the world. Uh, yeah, Open Pilot's going to support CanFD for this car. No, I'm not getting on I-8. I'm staying right here in this lane. Okay, you guys ready for the test? This is going to be the real test. And we're going to see what it can do. Keeping my hand on the wheel, but loosely. It's a little too far to the right in that turn. Late entry into that turn slightly. Good cut in behavior. Oh, it's beeping at me. This is good so far. Continue on the current road for about two miles. This is 
good so far. Okay, let's say. Yeah? Cool. All right. Also, you can't see, but it's doing a, it's doing like an augmented display. I think you can see it through the HUD on that car, which is pretty cool. Okay, speed up for the turn. Uh, cut in, cut in, cut in. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> Despite all, all right, all right. Uh, I like it. It's one button to re-engage. So, good. And the, yeah, it, it, it's very good. It's very, does it disengage on gas? No, it doesn't disengage on gas. I, I can gas right now and it doesn't disengage. Uh, cool guys, that ends my review of HDA2. Uh, I gotta drive on the streets, so I gotta leave you. But uh, yeah, this is a great car. Uh, the system's great, it's, it's, it's at least on the highways, it's uh, similar in quality to Open Pilot, depending on the car. Which makes me think 